The grading to sensor calculator allows you to determine the proper mounting of the Patton Hawksley 100 and 200 star analyzer gratings. This top section up here is where you input the data regarding your telescope, aperture, scene, grading type, as well as the mounting distance and camera specs that you're using with this particular setup. You can see over on the right are these three flag regions, which if they're all green, gives you a go-ahead that you have the optimum configuration. You can see we have one amber flag here, which is simply a warning that we're not in an optimal configuration. Let's make a change to our grading to sensor distance, perhaps by inserting a spacer from Patton Hawksley. We can see when we do that, the warning continues to exist. There are other changes that we need to make in order to get optimal results, although even with that amber warning, we can continue to use the system and get good results. The first thing we might try is to switch to the Star Analyzer 200. But when we do that, we see this red flag down here indicating that the spectrum is too spread out to properly calibrate or to get good spectral images. Unless we're restricted by a filter wheel or have a large aperture telescope, in most cases we should stick with the Star Analyzer 100 grading. So let's come up here and change our telescope focal ratio. Now we can see we have three green flags, so we have an optimal configuration. The dispersion down here is in the right range, so the light's not too spread out and thus too dim, and it's spread out enough that we'll get good detail on our spectrum. And down here in this field, the spectrum coverage is wide enough that we'll see both the zero order as well as the high-end red range of the spectrum, meaning that we'll be able to easily calibrate with whatever software we're using. So that's how you can use the calculator to get the best results with your Patton Hawksley 100 or 200 star analyzer astronomical grading.